Hi guys, um, I'm going to make another video, and today's video was the, um, of my new series, like, um, what film choices the week type um, videos, <coughs> and this week it was, um, what superhero film you want to be, me to review, and my first episode, and I got three votes, all for the same film, which was Watchmen, and um, so if you saw this in my update, I have actually come out names a bit because I didn't see the film, but I have actually got around to seeing the film, so yeah guys, this is going to be my first, uh, uh, video review for my new, like, kind of, uh, videos. So, yeah, um, Watch Frame is, tells the story of Rod Trath, I think that's his name, I can't remember all the names, played by Jack L. Haley, um, the blue guy and all that. I don't really know their names, but I've, I saw the film. And it's basically all the superheroes are dying out and, like, someone's trying to kill them all. And they got to go and save them. It, it's uh, based in the year 1985. And, um, yeah, someone, it says, someone's killing all our superheroes. The year is 1985 and superheroes have bounded together to respond kill of their own. Yeah, so basically it's about these guys and they have to go and kill this one particular dude who's trying to kill them. And uh, it's just a really, really uh, good storyline and all that. And it's quite a long superheroes, about 155 minutes. And you might be wondering why the film is an 18. Well, as it says here, it contains strong bloody violence, but the reason is because it has some quite strong language. The violence is very extreme um, for a type of superhero film, and it has a scene of rape. Also, Zack Snyder films are very stylish, so it's going to be pretty good bloody. Even though, and this is not not actually CGI blood like 300 was. But, so, let's go on to my opinions of the film. So I watched it oh, about two months ago, and I started watching it, and I really didn't understand it at all, but then once it got into the superhero part of it, and because um, the intro of all like, the screen names and everything is about ten minutes long, so I'm going to a Bob Dylan song, which is, it's called um, Bob Dylan Times Are Changing, and it's just so flipping long. It's really good. And the film is excellent, it's brilliant, it's such a good film. It's got this 150 at a charity shop, Zach Snyder's Probably my favourite, well, my, one of my favourite sex films. This or 300, I cannot say, but excellent film. One of the best superhero films, if not the best out there. I don't know if it's the best, but better than the, it's probably not as good as The Dark Knight, but it's brilliant. Absolutely excellent. Um, the performances by the superheroes like Jesse L. Haley are brilliant, brilliant performances. And just Zack Snyder's style of all the gunfights and all that. Um, is really good, and this was based on the graphic novel, and which I haven't read, but <coughs> made into the film, which is super brilliant film. The effects are really awesome, the acting is brilliant, and just the whole film is excellent. You must watch this. Um, wouldn't really recommend it for people who are a bit squeamish with blood, because this has some of it, but um, yeah. brilliant film. It does get a bit, you know, tiresome and a bit dragged on, but. At the same time, you don't really give a crap because it's just such a good film. So yeah, <coughs> what's fun? Highly recommended. So yeah, guys, uh, next week um, will be um, Epic War Film Week. So like, if you see my top ten Epic War films, like Beowulf, Troy, and all that, you'll get a choice of all them films for me to review. So yeah, next week uh, Epic War Film Week. So, yeah, what's fun? One of the best superhero films ever. Highly recommended. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'm next. I have a pretty big update of Blu-rays and DVDs.